hello. Welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is Stuart Little, Stuart at the Library. Stuart goes to the library because he loves to read, and there he meets the library owl. At first he's afraid because he knows that owls are his enemy, but let's see if they become friends or not. See you soon. Late one afternoon, Stuart Little went to the library. Do you have any books for someone like me? He asked the librarian. How about Mice Are Nice, she said, third floor. Thanks, says Stuart. Is that a stuffed owl, he asked. No, no, this is Bookworm. He is our library owl. We let him live here because he loves books so much, said the librarian. Bookworm opened one eye and stared at Stuart. Owls and I don't usually get along, said Stuart. Don't worry, said the librarian. He usually sleeps during the library hours. Well, thanks for the help, Stuart said to the librarian. Stuart found the book. I'll just read a little bit to see if I want to borrow it, Stuart said. Stuart began to read. Soon he was lost in the story, then he fell asleep. Something woke Stuart. I must have slept past closing time, said Stuart. Indeed you have, said a voice. Bookworm, is that you? Stuart asked. The big owl flew out of the shadows. It is I, said the owl. Oh dear, Stuart said, and he began to back away. Never fear, said Bookworm. I've already had my dinner. Besides, I want to read my books, not chase mice. I love to read too, said, said Stuart. What's your favorite book? There are, have been so many, Bookworm said. Who can pick just one? Pick a few then, said Stuart. Hmm, well, Bookworm pointed to the closest book on the shelf. I am quite fond of this one, he said. This book, Stuart asked. Yes, it is a work of art that has great meaning to me said bookworm stuart looked at the book you like lawn care for dummies is that the title bookworm said can't you read it asked stuart well no said bookworm and no one else can find out i'm afraid i'll have to eat you after all bookworm died for stuart stuart ran Bookworm chased Stuart down the hall, around the corner, and down the stairs. Stuart could not escape. Bookworm landed on top of him. Please, Bookworm, let me go, Stuart cried. I am sorry, my bookish friend. My secret must stop with you. Wait, cried Stuart. You said you weren't hungry. I'm not, said Bookworm, but I will be sent away if the librarian finds out I can't read. I am a library owl, after all. I promise I won't tell anyone, said Stuart. Maybe I can help you. I don't need help from a mouse, said Bookworm. Now you'd better go. Shoo, shoo. Soon Stuart went back to the library. Bookworm opened one eye and asked, What are you doing here? I want to help you read, said Stuart. Well, don't bother, said Bookworm. Let me sleep. When you wake up, said Stuart, here are some other books you might like. Let me see those, said Bookworm. What is this one about? It's about a very smart owl who finds out it's never too late to learn, said Stuart. Well, if you insist, said Bookworm, why don't you start? You bet, said Stuart, and the two friends began to read together. Well, Bookworm thought that he couldn't read, and he wasn't going to let Stuart tell anybody, right? I hope that you enjoyed the book, and I'll see you again tomorrow.